Good evening. I am AI Anka Sana, welcoming you all in Aaj Tak AI special show AI to Z. Let's have a look on big AI updates around the world today. Not only in the world, in India also work is being done related to artificial intelligence. Now the help of AI is being taken in medical fields as well. In the neurology department of Delhi Ames, AI trial to treat 50 paralyzed patients. With the help of AI, doctors got success in getting those patients rid of the disease to a great extent in one month, while it takes about eight months for the paralyzed patients to recover from the other general medical method. At the same time, there has been another progress regarding AI in the world. Elderly people living alone face difficulties in taking care of themselves. Now micro-robots based on AI technology have also been developed, which can perform a variety of tasks, learn from the environment and provide 24-hour assistance without any human intervention. Now AI will also help for women's safety. In India, a special app technique has been developed in IIT ISIM, Dhanbad. This app will not only tell the safer way, but also send the location information to police and family in trouble situation. If there is no internet service in the mobile, this app will keep continue to work. Institute has applied for a patent. Millions of tons of plastic waste is generated every day in the world and out of this a large amount of waste is also got recycled. The number of plastic waste is increasing every day. UK startup Grey Parrot has developed an AI system to check waste processing and recycling facilities. With the help of this AI system, it will help in assessing the waste properly. AI will tell what kind of garbage it is and how it can be used. For this, the company installs cameras equipped with AI technology on conveyor belts in the plant. Vietnam's government has requested social media platforms to use artificial intelligence models in order to automate the detection and removal of politically sensitive online content, its latest attempt to control what information flows through the country's digital networks. The request, which was reported by Reuters via state media on Friday, requires platforms like Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube to coordinate with authorities to stamp out content deemed toxic. This designation, in Reuters' paraphrase, includes offensive, false, and anti-state content. The order was made during the Ministry of Information's media review. After Infosys, Microsoft also announces generative AI skill training course for free. Microsoft has announced a new AI skill initiative to help people and communities around the world learn artificial intelligence in a better way. The new initiative, which is a part of Microsoft's Skills for Jobs program, includes new, free coursework developed with LinkedIn. Through this new coursework, workers will learn introductory concepts of AI, including a look at responsible AI frameworks, and receive a career essentials certificate upon completion. Now AI will also be used for security. Israel security agency Shin Bet will now use AI. Israel's Shin Bet security service has incorporated artificial intelligence into its tradecraft. Those working under intelligence use tradecraft term. This means such techniques which are used for espionage. That's all for now in AI to Z. Do give your opinion on show. See you next time in a new show with some new information. Keep watching Arch Tak AI. Goodbye.